Remember the Game is brought to you by my website, abcomedy.net. You can find all the old episodes of both my podcasts, my daily blog, and all of my upcoming comedy show dates there. And if you're looking for a comedian for your Christmas party, fundraiser, house party, private event, whatever, you can contact me through my website as well. Again, that's abcomedy.net. And if you enjoyed this podcast, please subscribe to it and please leave us a review. There'll be a new episode every single Wednesday. Thanks for your support. I hope you guys enjoy the show. Big Apple, 3 a.m. Apple, 3 a.m. Fuck, how good is that music? Oh, welcome to Remember the Game, episode two, you guys. My name is Adam Blank, and this week we will be remembering the game Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. I know it's on some other stuff as well, but we all played the SNES one, right? That game was so fucking good. Joining me this week is my buddy Christopher DeJurek, another comedian from here in Edmonton. And when I initially came up with the idea for this podcast and posted, hey, if anyone's interested in coming on and wants to talk about a video game they like, shoot me a message. I probably got a half dozen people saying they wanted to come on and talk about Turtles in Time. Christopher was the first one. He's a nice guy. So I was like, yep, let's do it. I hope you guys like this episode. I loved recording this episode and I loved playing Turtles in Time as kind of like some, uh, I would call it uh, research for this episode of the podcast. It had been a long time since I played that game and it's still awesome. It's probably the greatest beat em up ever made. So uh, I'm not going to waste my time with giving you guys opinions on this now. I'm going to let you get right to the podcast with me and Christopher. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this trip down memory lane with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. Uh, P.S. Donatello's the best turtle. If you don't agree, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Okay. So like, I, like literally, as you and I were just walking up the stairs, yeah, yeah, I yeah. wanted to turn around and be like, "Holy fuck, I love this video game." So good, right? It's like, so so good. I, I, I swore that when I started this, like when I came up with this concept, that I wouldn't play ROMs and I wouldn't refresh. I would just go yeah. off childhood memories. And then a couple of days ago, I was sitting in a hotel room board. It was yesterday. I was sitting in a hotel room board, and I'm like, ah, I can play a little bit. I was like, I downloaded yeah. the ROM. <laughs> I'm like, I can play just a few minutes just yeah. to kind of refresh my mind. And I ended up playing it for like two hours. Oh yeah, so it's so yeah. good. And you said you you beat it. Can I say it? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. You I, beat yeah. it at work. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. No and, one, no one checks in on me. So oh, just, perfect. Whatever. So you haven't played it in a while either. No, I haven't played it in years. Had and, you? Uh, did you play it as a kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of the games that I like. We had our uh, Super Nintendo, I think, before I was born, and that was one of the games that we always had. And that's oh. that's like that's the one that I got my parents to play too. Like my mom's beaten that game. Oh no shit, eh? Like. Yeah. Dude, I'm like, je- I never owned it as a kid and I'm oh, so jealous because I had friends that best. owned it and yeah. like, I, we used to play the arcade version. Um, or was it that one or was it Turtles 2 that, I, I know Turtles 2 had an arcade version. I want to yeah. say Turtles in Time did too, but anyway. Yeah, it did, but I think it had less levels or something. Yeah, I yeah, was, yeah. read that the other day. It was like, and then the, they released a remake of it on the Xbox 360 a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. Did, did you ever play that? Yeah, I didn't like it as yeah. much. Did you? No, I never tried it. It was too like, I don't know how they like. They fucked it up, and I don't really know how. Like, it just looked better, but right. it didn't. At the same time, it didn't. Because, like, yeah, it's ah. like it like technically better. Yeah, but those sixteen bit sprites, you know, yeah, there's oh. something about that era. It that looks that game looks so good, even today. Yeah, it does absolutely. I like. Okay, so we're trying to focus on one game here. Like, I want to. <laughs> I don't want to go down the wormhole of being like all the other turtles games because I feel like I could do an episode about this about other turtles games. But like, almost everyone's played the NES ones. Have you played any of the NES ones? Uh, yeah. Just, okay. Just like ROMs and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the first one was weird. And then the second and third one were kind of like dumbed down versions of Turtles in Time. Obviously yeah. not as good. Yeah. But I really, it's, it's fucking insane to me that like, how, I don't know how old Turtles in Time is. It's gotta be over 20, like it's gotta be 25 years now. Uh, yeah. More than that. I think like early nineties. Yeah. Right. And, uh, they still have not made a Turtles game as good as Turtles in Time. And it's, yeah, it, it seems insane to me because Molly, Sorry, that's my dog. Um, <laughs> it seems impossible to, like, it seems like they would be such an easy franchise to make a good video game out of. Yeah, absolutely. It, they're killer characters. There's awesome, like, it's, it's, the bad guys are sweet. There's lots of bosses. Yeah. And you just fight. And you don't really need a story. Like, 
I didn't remember how dumb the story in Turtles oh, Good God. Time was. Well, yeah, so it go just, ahead. Like, like it starts it starts with Shredder stealing the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> and so you go after him and then when when you finally do get to him, he banish he banishes you to a time warp. Right. And then you have to fight through time to get back to the you fight through the past and the future to yeah. get back to the present yeah. to re- to save the Statue to of save Liberty. The, uh. Like, he can travel through time and has armies in the future and the past, but he needs the stat. What? It, what yeah. Why? As a kid, I was just like, dude, we got to save the statue. Like, yeah. let's go. You know what I mean? Like, you'd, like, play it. And now as an adult, yeah, like, look, I'm like, who gives a fuck? It's just, like, I was like, really? That's what you're putting your resources into is this statue? And yeah. then he sends the turtles back in time. So, like, you'd be the first three or four levels. Yeah. Because there's, like, there's, like, the fucking, uh, well, the Big Apple 3 a.m. Like, that's just, it's, like, legendary, that, oh, that so sound great. bite. Um, but there's, like, there's that level. And then there's, like, the streets. And then you're in the sewer. And yeah. then you go to the Technodrome. Yeah. And then Shredder sends you back in time. And it's, it's so funny because you go back in time and it's like, it, I know it would make a stupid video game, but it's like, okay, they're banished back in time. Like, let's go take over the world now. The turtles are gone. And yeah. instead it's like, no, let's send soldiers back in time to fight them to protect our statue yeah. of liberty. Fuck. And let's make sure we leave a way for them to hop through the time. Yeah, yeah. To, to get back to We us. want them back. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. It's, it's turtles. Like, yeah. I mean, if you want to break down the fucking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. intricacies of the ninja turtles a lot of it doesn't make sense absolutely at the end of the day it's just a, it just <laughs> is a way to make more fun levels um did you do you have a okay so first of all which turtle do you play as donatello fuck every yeah. time christopher every time. fuck yeah it's so i didn't know this i don't know if you knew this or not i i looked it up um uh as i was playing the rom and like each of the turtles like i looked up the old instruction manual okay and each of the turtles has like strengths with like they're like their stats are slightly oh, really? different i didn't know that okay so like leo is balanced uh right. mikey's the strongest uh donatello uh is the slowest but has the strongest special and Raphael's the fastest but the weakest which is okay. like based on their personalities now it'd be like no. Yeah. no no that doesn't make sense at all uh but, but it really it really doesn't matter like they all seem yeah. to handle pretty well the same like and yeah. that's like like dude that's one of my favorite things about this game like playing it again the other day as i was like you literally you feel like a ninja turtle yeah considering oh, all you're doing yeah, is yeah. like mashing buttons <laughs> you just feel like a badass like yeah. it's I don't know. I love it. You're surrounded by foot soldiers, and and at any point you just start mashing punch, and it's like you're doing back kicks and front kicks, and you're doing that thing where you like throw them at the camera. Like, yeah, which I only this week learned how to do. Oh, I still don't. I thought I, you just did it random. That's what I thought as well. Like, so when I was a kid, there's because there's the um, the first time you fight Shredder in the Technodrome, that's how you beat him is you throw guys yeah, at him. Yeah, yeah. And so like you know, me and my brother would be playing as kids, and we play that for like just 20 minutes straight just like punching guys until it yeah, happened yeah, enough yeah. times to win yeah and then then it would so i I, ju- I just realized that you just like you you, you hit them once and then when they're like kind of huddled over if you're like walking towards them and you're close enough and you hit oh. them again it'll do it so like you can get it to happen consistently I didn't but know i remember that. playing that like that boss fight for forever, like 20 30 forever. minutes at a time just beating on like <laughs> armies of foot soldiers and then like it's not even hard like no. you just have to dodge shredder's little crosshairs and his claws which are easy yeah absolutely but you're just waiting from the grab fucking foot soldier. i remember like it's funny because even now i think it's cool like as a kid i thought that fight was so cool because like the mm-hmm. first couple of like so you fight uh fly baxter yeah which is sweet uh he's a good first boss because fly baxter is kind of a bitch yeah. um and then you fight uh metalhead yeah who's badass and then you fight uh the rat king the rat king right which is cool and then you fight toka and razar which yeah. is dope that they made so that cool. game like i i feel like they're underrated i know they're not bebop and rocksteady yeah, yeah. but it's like i think i just as i'm a huge turtles 2 fan i'm like it's cool right. to see them make an <laughs> appearance and like and they look good in that game and what's yeah, cool absolutely. about what's cool about that fight is uh you can make them like run into each other yeah. If you move, they'll hit each other, which I was like, this is so, like, they actually interact with each other while you're fighting them, which makes you even more like a Ninja Turtle, because you're fighting these two big dummies, yeah, and yeah. you can move and let them hurt each other. Uh, and then, yeah, and then there's that Shredder fight, and that screen where it's behind Shredder's head, he looks so much like the cartoon Shredder, too. Oh, like absolutely. That's, they na- nailed the cartoon style. Didn't with, they, like, though? all of the graphics. It's oh, insane. I love it. Like, Shredder looks dope, yeah. and, like, and, and one of the notes I'd even made to point out was, like, and the four turtles all look like... When you play the original games, you can tell that for the most part, it's just like, like they almost look exactly the same. It's just they're yeah, holding just slightly different, different weapons yeah. and slightly different color. But in this one, like, I, I know it's it's probably the same, pa- it's the same, like, basic uh, pixel art again or whatever with the, the color swap. Yeah. But, like, 
uh, like Raphael has his two sides and he spins one. Michelangelo like spins yeah, his nunchucks, yeah. right? Donatello like is clearly holding the bow just in one hand when he's walking. And it's those little things that just, you're right, it feels so much like the 80s cartoon. Yeah. Like, oh. And the foot soldiers all look badass. Like they look so, oh, yeah, fucking, so cool. It's so bright. Like it's so colorful yeah. playing it, you know? Yeah. But that fight against Shredder or the cameras behind Shredder and like, and you're trying to whip foot soldiers at the screen to hit them. That's so cool because they could have just made you fight Shredder. Yeah, exactly. You know, like which they do obviously at the end. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's it's I fucking I, I like I'm just I feel like I'm sitting here like just blowing my load over this game, <laughs> but like and the music, like oh the music is so great, right? Love it. Like it makes you like it fires you up like yeah, as you're playing, you absolutely. feel so cool like as yeah. you're playing it. Um, and I like how interactive the stages are. You yeah, know, yeah, like. Yeah. Uh, like on the pirate ship, there's like the the planks that the boards pop up and like the fucking there's ships in the background shooting cannonballs at you. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. like even in the very first, like I forgot about this till I played it again the other day. In the very first level where you're on like the skyscraper or whatever, like the construction site. Yeah. Uh, giant. Hey, Shaylee, you want to come in and talk Ninja Turtles with us? No. Now. <laughs> uh, um. Uh. In the first level, giant Krang like makes his way along yeah, the back like, shooting his lasers at lasers you. yeah yeah uh, like and like the way they react like when they get hit by a ball they get squished like and it's all cartoony and shit yeah like, yeah um yeah it's i fucking like everything about like it just looks like you're playing the 80s cartoon it's yeah, so awesome, absolutely it does know? um and then they start going back through time and it's it's stupid but at the same time it's like it's fun like you yeah. like so because they, they pick the perfect like the perfect eras to yeah yeah go to like prehistoric that's right, because the um, first one's prehistoric. Oh yeah, because the first one's prehistoric. Yeah, yeah, and the foot soldiers are like riding like raptors and shit. Yeah, which yeah. is cool. <laughs> and then the rock soldiers uh, start showing up yeah, too. Yeah, uh, I can't. I, I think that's what them. they were called. I hate the rocks. Rock Dude, soldiers. I like, but they look dope too, and they have oh, like they their look, old. They look great. The old like purple hard hats they used to wear. Just come like barreling across the screen. And, yeah, oh. yeah. I forgot. Yeah, so that's the first one is the, is the dinosaurs. And you fight your way through these, like, caves, and you're dodging raptors and shit. And then you have to fight Slash, who yeah. is, like, I love Slash. And I think he looked awesome. Yeah. And, like... So great. So you beat it. Yes. The other day. Yeah. Uh, okay, I didn't beat it the other day when I was playing. I only got to the... What's the level after dinosaurs? Uh, the pirate ship. Yeah. I got to the pirate ship. ship. Um, Slash is fucking hard. So... Because you can only hit him from behind. Yeah. It took but me you forever. can't get behind him. I know. Like, it ever. took me forever to yeah. figure that out. And it's okay. And it's funny uh, because when you play the, the remastered one on 360, I don't know why they did this, but they swapped some of the bosses. So the boss yeah. in that level is not Slash. It's like this fucking mud pile. Yeah. I think that's... Um, I think the 360 thing is um, based on the arcade game. Oh. So like originally there were fewer levels and some of the bosses were swapped around. Oh, yeah, that's not nearly yeah. as good. No, Slash not is, at all. And Slash looks dope. Like he so looked, cool. With like like crooked sword and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. He just he's fucking hard. <laughs> like, like, I like <laughs> so hard to beat. Like I because okay so because I forgot till I was reading this manual too that you can go like easy, medium, and hard in the options. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think I was playing it on hard and it's like Slash fucking worked me. And oh, I was absolutely. Like, I like it's so much better with two players. Like yeah. I assume you played it one player. Yeah, I did. Yeah, but but like two it's, players is so much, and because it doesn't change at all too. Like yeah. it's the same difficulty, same amount of foot soldiers and yeah. everything. But it's just it's more fun. It is so, so much, much more fun. fun. Like you said, you had it as a kid. Yeah. So like I don't know about you, but like I remember going to like a sleepover or something, and there'd be like five or six of us, and you'd each take turns, and everyone oh, had yeah. their turtle. Yeah, yeah. And it was like oh, like it was just like the i just like the happiest memories of my life i remember like and then whenever a, a bad guy came in and he had a weapon similar to that one of your turtles weapons we would always agree like oh that's his like let him have that guy you know what i mean yeah, like okay shit yeah. like that uh yeah it's, it's like it's 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 the perfect two-player game i, I would yeah. love to play it four player like oh, i know i know great. it's four player like at the arcade but yeah. like i just oh I, I'm just sitting here gushing I'm not even saying anything I'm just gushing yeah. about this stupid game so you go back in time you fight yeah. Slash prehistoric then the pirate ship then the pirate ship and that is uh, that's Bebop oh. and Rocksteady as like pirates what are you shaking your head at you're a loser <laughs> come on the podcast <laughs> that's my girlfriend you guys she uh, she is laughing at us but that's okay she doesn't know someday when you need saving don't fucking come to us um Oh yeah, Bebop and Rocksteady, and that's for my money. That's the best fu boss fight in the game, except absolutely. maybe Shredder. Um, yeah, Technodrum Shredder. I'd Technodrum say. Technodrum Shredder, yeah, absolute favorite. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. but like the way they're dressed up as pirates, 
in yeah. that game. And like, and did you notice? Because uh, that's where I died, and that's where I stopped playing. Uh, you can get them to like hit each other as well. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Bebop has a whip, and he'll hit Rocksteady's like sword and tie it up, and then yeah, they'll and be then stuck. Be like, yeah, that's perfect. Like that's so classic great. Bebop and Rocksteady. Like, uh, like I love like the slapstick like mm-hmm. humor in those boss fights. It, it, like a lot of heart went into this game. Yeah. I really think it wasn't just a cash in. They like they put some time into it. Like yeah. with the little intricacies, like the little even the voices. I know they all sound exactly the same. Yeah. But they say shit like uh my toe and shell shocked and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Or when you like uh when you fall in like a sewer and it's like the little text bubble comes up, it's like this cave is creepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or like dude, like... oh or like in the and when they come when the foot soldiers come out of the sewer and you can hit the sewer covers back at them and stuff. Yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. that was so cool as a kid because I was always Donatello, much mm-hmm. like yourself. And when we were all play as kids, it was like Donatello, this is because you're the baseball bat guy. They're like, this is on you, and yeah, I was always yeah. the one that got to hit them back. And like, ah, so then, so you do. <laughs> fuck, I love this game. <laughs> so you fight Bebop and Rocksteady yeah. as pirates. Yes, and then you go to the train. Yeah, then then it's the train. Okay, which like I'd like to know. I for my money, it's the boringest level. I think so. I think it looks really cool. Yeah. And I like, um, one thing I always liked was like when the foot soldiers come up riding horses along. And so it's like, you yeah. know, they're riding their horses, but the horse is slower than the train. So it's. Yeah. And then they like would jump off onto them. Yeah. Up. yeah. Yeah. Um, like all shit they couldn't do in the NES. Like, yeah. it's like, yeah, exactly. You know, like it, you're on, like when you're in the pirate ship, you can see ships in the background. Yeah. And now you're on the, yeah. On like the all the layers of animation and stuff. It's yeah. insane. It looks so good. And you like, yeah, when you're on the train, like it really feels like you're flying down, like you're flying no, the highway but you're flying <laughs> along on this train track yeah, like just yeah, moving because yeah. then the boss in that one is leatherhead yes yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and he's easy i think yeah he, that that one kind of sucks yeah it's it is but, the worst level in the game yeah absolutely uh which but, but then you go to the future i was gonna say which is so cool it's then followed by the best level in the game yeah for my money <laughs> not just the best level but the best music the yes. music in that oh, level it's so cool because that's the one where you're so in the in the third level you're on surfboards in yeah. the sewer and then that's the one where you're on those like floating discs. Yeah, it's like some sort of hoverboard thing yeah, or yeah. something. And it looks so awesome. So it looks cool. like F Zero. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and okay, but is that the one where those? F- and, and maybe I'm getting mixed up with another Turtles game because I didn't get to this level. Is that the one where those fucking the foot soldiers are in those goddamn little private plane things and they're shooting at you? Yep. That's oh, yeah, I yeah. Hate them. <laughs> I hate them so much. Yeah, I missed every single one. <laughs> oh, they're impossible. They're yeah. fucking impossible. And then those are the, that's when we have to like catch pizza on the drive by. Yeah, right. It's yeah, not yeah. just sitting there. You have to yeah. catch it or you're fucked. Uh, yeah. And then who's the boss in that one? Krang. That's yeah. That's Krang. Oh, dude. Uh, that's like super Krang. Yeah, yeah. Where he's and then there's like an, another future level where it's Krang like in a little right. Ship. Yeah, yeah. So you basically fight yeah. Krang twice. Yeah, yeah. Krang when he's in that like, because that's another thing that like, and again, just gushing over like the '80s cartoon. But like, Krang. When I think of Krang, I think of Krang in that stupid bald body thing where he's in the stomach. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. Krang to me. Absolutely. So it's so cool seeing him in that suit because like even in the cartoon they never fought. Like they very rarely fought Krang. Yeah. And it was so cool to finally get a chance to like beat the piss out of fucking annoying Krang. <laughs> I, I fucking. Uh. Well, that's a pretty cool level. And then, yeah, because then after that, you're in, like, a spaceship or something, aren't you? Or is it the Technodrome again? Yeah. Um, some kind of, like, space base for the foot soldiers right. or something. Yeah, right. yeah. And then you fight through that, and you fight Krang one more time. Yeah. And then you finally go back to the present. And then it's Shredder. And it's... it's super- is there another level? I don't remember. I don't think so. I, no, I think then it's, it's Super it's Shredder. It's Super Shredder. Yeah, and yeah, he yeah. looks like the Turtles 2 super shredder uh, oh yeah he's jacked yeah, yeah. up with all the extra spike he looks so badass right oh yeah and then you beat him and then you save the statue of liberty yeah it's fucking so stupid that you save the statue of liberty um and then if you're if you're not playing on hard there's a cut scene that goes to uh, master splinter talking to the turtles and he's like oh great work but the real challenge oh really <laughs> is if you beat it on hard mode oh. so it's like hey great job beating this game that's actually kind of tricky but fuck you yeah you shitty kids <laughs> It uh, okay. It's funny too, cause like, and Turtles Two was like this on the NES, cause it was a port of the arcade game, yeah. and the arcade one was like designed to kill you, because then you keep pumping money. Yeah, right? yeah. And like this one is like, at least maybe I'm just rusty, but like playing it uh, over the last few days, like it's not like I maybe I mean I had it on hard, but like it's whatever setting I was on, it's not easy. Yeah, you know, no. like it's like did you you said you beat it? Did you like did you did you find it challenging at all? Yeah, it t- well it took a long time. It took a 
a long afternoon at work. To, a long afternoon <laughs> to at work. That. Did you have to use any continues or anything? Uh, yeah, like I first time I tried, I had used all my continues, but like before the pirate ship and oh, got yeah? it game over. Yeah, yeah, um, me too. And then yeah, I, I probably used like three oh, continues cool. or something. I don't yeah. remember how, how many easy. you get, but yeah, it's surprisingly tricky. I remember just crushing it as a kid yeah yeah it didn't probably seem probably because i played it all the time <laughs> yeah it didn't seem as hard as yeah. a kid. did you play as donnie the whole time oh yeah yeah, yeah see yeah. i was switching it up just to see the other animations but it's just it has to be donnie like the best he is he's the, the best. best for all of you donnie feels... haters go fuck yourselves <laughs> like go fuck yourselves he's a scientist with a bow staff right always my favorite well, he was your favorite he's always my favorite and, like the shows the the movie me too yes yeah. he's the best turtle i could fucking do a whole nother podcast just about donatello <laughs> and how underappreciated donatello is um so that's well okay, that's fucking dude i'm like it's exciting to me that you owned it as a kid this was yeah. the game i had so many people ask when i posted on facebook being like guys want if anyone's interested i'd love to know what games you guys want to talk about and i probably had half a dozen people be like turtles in time turtles in time yeah, and yeah. this game's 25 years old now probably i'm guessing and uh it I won't lie to you, like, playing it today or yesterday, I was having fun. Um, I, I couldn't play it every day like I would have as a kid. Yeah. Like, you said... Oh, absolutely. Now that I've beat it, I probably won't touch it for years. You're right. And, you're like, because you said yourself, like, you owned it as a kid, uh, you probably played it all the time. Oh, you yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it yeah. never got repetitive. Yeah. Right? And now, like, it's... I will say that, like, beat-em-ups as a whole, when you don't change any, like, Double Dragon or any of those beat-em-ups... Yeah. Uh, they do get repetitive, you know, after a little while. Yeah, absolutely. Like, playing the same one. That's, like, those are almost my favorite, too, as a kid. Like, I had, like, um, Turtles in Time, um, Spider-Man and Venom. Yeah, uh, Maximum Separation. Carnage. Yeah, oh. Maximum Carnage, Separation Anxiety, both oh, those. So uh, good. Captain Commando was I great. that one. So, so weird and good. There, yeah. Like, there's one character that's, like, a, it's a baby in a robot suit. It's the weirdest thing. And everyone <laughs> else, you're just fighting ninjas. And, it's yeah, the, it's, it's great. the formula. That's yeah. the formula. I, yeah. remember, I remember having Power Rangers when I was a kid. The movie one? No, the original, just the original oh, okay. game. And it was basically like five levels of beat em up. Yeah. And, and you would morph halfway through the level every time. And it was yeah. the same thing as this. It's fun. Yeah. Beating up the putties. But it does like, after a little while, like even when I was sitting in the hotel room playing it, like I die, I got game over on the pirate ship against Bebop and Rocksteady. And I was mm-hmm. like, this is great. And I love this game. But I'm not playing through all those levels again. Just yeah. like mash, mash, yeah, mash, yeah. mash. Because really, that's all it is. Like they they're more advanced than the nes ones because there's shit like um like you can do like the running uh handspring and the running like shoulder tackle and yeah, the throwing yeah. guys at the screen or like when you grab a guy by the arm yeah and you smash them back and forth love that dude that's the best like, not <laughs> so only is satisfying not only is it badass but like it saves you when you're in trouble sometimes yeah. you're getting surrounded you do that it kills everybody um but yeah i just it, it there's only so many like variants to it and it's fun but it like it is the same thing you yeah. know the like each turtle has his own special move which i think is cool but like you you lose health if you use them did you notice that like did you do that at all um i'm not sure i even know how to do the special moves oh i can't like I'm pretending i'm holding the controller now <laughs> i think it's if you hit punch and jump at the same time your guy will do like, okay. like leo does like a like a big swing with his swords okay yeah and... i don't think i ever knew you could oh really that. yeah yeah like it's <laughs> like and they're badass moves but it actually costs yeah. you health to use them okay so, so it was like I would use it once in a while, and then I'm like, oh, I can't use this because, like, especially like I said, like those games are fucking hard, man. And like, yeah. you know, like, well, they they spread out those pizzas, so dude, you, don't you, they? You can. So like, do you remember? <laughs> I remember playing as a kid, and like, you would get near one of the pizzas and be like fighting over who got the pizza. Oh yeah, and like the time. obvious answer should be like, well, is one of us almost dead and one of us not? Because give yeah. that one the pizza. But instead, it'd be like a race. It'd be a race to the pizza, and it would be a race to those bomb boxes. Yeah, where you like spin around and, and you're yeah. you're invincible for about eight seconds. Yeah, and half the time, like I remember, I vividly remember getting angry as a kid because the guys would grab it right away, <laughs> and there were no foot soldiers on the screen. Yeah, and I was like, well, wait till there's like guys to kill. Like by yeah. the time it wears <laughs> off, like or those oh, those fucking robots that shoot the electrical whips at you. Oh yeah, the rolling ones. I fucking don't remember those and the ones that like grab your mousers. Hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. But at least mousers, it was one hit. Like they were easy to kill. Mm-hmm. They just had to you had to hit them. You have to actually hit them. Yeah. Fuck. There's but there's little... like four jumping at you at once. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Um, but that was part of what made it so fun. It's like yeah. it's not like even the foot soldiers. And I know they do this with the NES games too. But like it's really cool the way that they. Uh, it's not just a, a mass of purple 
no weapon yeah, walk yeah. at you foot soldiers like they like all kinds of different like bow and arrows bombs fucking yeah. axes like every kind of weapon you can like think any of. yeah anything um which is which again like i feel like that's just another ode to them showing a little bit of love to the turtles into the franchise because they're just making sure it's not boring you know what i mean like yeah exactly the game really does uh it it feels like there's like some time put into it you know yeah and in in the games like i've played most of the ninja turtle games that have come out since then i didn't play mutants in manhattan that was the newest one on ps4 okay but i heard it wasn't that good uh, but none of them are nearly as good as Turtles in Time, which is weird because it's just this little 16-bit yeah, left so to right simple, but just... punch. Yeah, and I, it's just like right. they, they just got the formula perfect. They're like, yeah. you can pick your favorite turtle. It's bright and colorful. It's like playing the cartoon, and you just feel like a Ninja Turtle for like the 45 minutes or whatever it is that you're playing it. Yeah. Um, and the fact that as many people asked me to come on and talk, talk about this game as did speaks to the... Like, absolutely like speaks to the quality yeah, of yeah. It, you know and i'm and, so so glad i was the first dude yeah it was like <laughs> right away because like i was like i knew somebody would ask for yeah, it yeah. i didn't think well it'd be that, that first fast. message i sent you when i was like hey you know evo uh and then i was like oh shit no he definitely knows turtles in time i sure do <laughs> i sure do i like i want to like you can see right over there there's my snes mini like yeah, my yeah, classics yeah. on the shelf here and i'm like i want to hack it and add turtles in time yeah and even if i don't play it because like you said you just beat it you won't play it now for a while yeah as a kid he was like yeah let's go again let's go again now yeah, it's exactly. like i'm done i got my fix um but just, to get that fix every few years or something dude, is oh it's so it it feels so good yeah like that's that's the like the best kind of wave of nostalgia i've had just like in years right that's what i was hoping this game or this podcast would be it's yeah, just yeah. like whether you re-download a rom or buy a game and play it or you just talk about it like that nostalgic feeling mm -hmm. i like i mean maybe it's because games are newer and i haven't had time to develop that feeling yeah i just don't feel the attachment to games today that oh, i yeah. do with some of those old games yeah. and this is one of them like i remember like we would rent it like over and over and over and just yeah. never stop playing this game yeah um and i think now like it's one of the more expensive games to collect like i used to have an snes collection and i never owned turtles in time because it was like I should have I should have looked it up before I started this, but I, I'm pretty sure it's like a forty fifty dollar yeah. game at least. Yeah, it's, you know? a, it's one of the pricier ones. It's carried its value, you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and it's it's like I don't know if it's worth it. It's worth it for the nostalgia, yeah. but it's like well, I actually like I recently sold all of like my old consoles and games and everything because uh, my parents moved out of our like childhood home. Right. So we were just, we were clearing things out, and it, and it was just a thing of like, you know, both my brother and I have like. You know, there, there's, uh, oh, what's the, what's the word? Um, oh, I, can't, I, don't know. I can't even think of what I'm thinking. No, you can't think of what you're thinking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, nostalgic? Yeah, like, um, Attachment? Sure, yeah, there, okay. there. Like, we, we, th we have the attachment to it, but it's like, how often are we going to actually yeah. use all of that and it's such a pain to get our super nintendo to work in the first yeah, place that's it and like a like, lot it takes of, like a couple of days to get that thing going yeah and like a lot um, of the tvs now it's hard to hook them up because they don't have yeah because the they need like that yeah um so yeah we wound up selling everything and like yeah i think i sold uh turtles in time for like 40 dollars um i had a bunch of like, stuff like captain commando and and evo I didn't realize were like stuff that I could sell for like 150, 200. Oh no! Like I didn't realize those were super rare. Right. Which I I did wind up selling them for that, but like oh, I okay. bought them for like five dollars when the movie store like, <laughs> sold all of their old stock. Right, right, you right. Know? Yeah, so. yeah, dude, yeah. It's um, it's one of those games. Like I think if you're an SNES collector, it's a must have. Absolutely. And I'm a, I'm a big onto like the uh, like the retro game forums, the SNES classic forums on Reddit and yeah. shit like that, and Chrono Trigger. And Turtles in Time are the two games that everybody brings up that yeah, they yeah. wish was on the SNES Classic. It's just I'm like... I'm surprised they're not. I, I, I have to assume with Turtles, at least, it was some kind of licensing thing. Because like yeah. with Chrono Trigger, like they have Final Fantasy three on it. Yeah. And it's the same company. Well, and Chrono Trigger was on... Uh, they did the DS version as That's well. right, too, yeah. So I remember playing that. That's right. Where the job I had then. <laughs> <laughs> See, you work really hard, Chris. Um, oh, no. Where, where Please is, still hire me. Whoever's <laughs> listening. <laughs> uh yeah turtles in time man it like if you're listening to this I'm, I'm willing to bet you've probably played turtles in time and dude i posted a teaser on instagram and all it was was a screenshot of turtles in time yeah and just said getting ready to record issue or episode number two and it got so much love and it's yeah, yeah. i think part of it's because i'm hoping people are excited about the concept but i think more so people were just like 
fucking turtles in time. Yeah, like that's the that best. Game. Um, so one of the last things I'll ask you to do uh, before we shut this thing down is uh, give it a score out of ten. Uh, you can use decimals if you want, but if you were reviewing oh, it right now, what would you give it? It's it's a ten. You give it the perfect ten. I, so much fun. Not a lot of replay value, but still enough fun one time through for a ten. It's the perfect beat 'em up. It's yeah. the perfect tribute to turtles. I, I get to give it like a 9.5. And the only reason I'm not giving it a 10 is because I said last week, Super Mario World's my 10 and I'm never giving another one. Because it's my <laughs> favorite game. So 9.5, because I will yeah. say if there is a flaw in it, and there's few, uh, if there is a flaw in it, I think the replayability is minimal. Yeah. Once you beat it, like unless you're a little kid who's obsessed with turtles. Like it's funny because yeah. I look at it now and like as a kid, I, we would play it over and over and over. And yeah. now as an adult, I'm like, no, nah, I want it, I'm good. Like, I'm fucking, I can't do this right, again right now. Right. Like, it's the same thing. It does get repetitive, but, like, they just, it's the perfect uh, fan letter to Turtles fans. They put, yeah. Not only do they nail the 80s cartoon, but they combine it with, with Turtles 2, with Super Shredder, Toka, and Razar. They, mm-hmm. they they screw up with Bebop and Rocksteady and put them back in the past, which is a hilarious. As, as so pirates. much fun. Uh, the anime, it's, 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 it's perfect. Like, if you guys are listening to this, you've played it. I'm positive that you have played this game. Uh, you heard it here. Christopher gives it a perfect 10. I'm giving it a nine and a half. So that averages out to like a nine, seven, nine, eight, which is like, it's a good fucking game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like there's, <laughs> there's no way that you don't think this game is good. If you don't think this game is good, don't listen to this podcast anymore. Cause I don't want you as a listener. It's that good a game. <laughs> um, dude, thanks for coming over and yeah, doing that thanks with for me. having me. And, uh, and, and we'll find another game. Uh, it's, uh, Dude, Super Nintendo's the best. And you're Always one of those kids yeah. that grew up on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, yeah. I could talk to you for days. The so best. we'll do another one. Uh, it won't be as good as Turtles in Time because few are. But yeah. nevertheless, thanks for coming over. And thank you more than anything for being a Donatello guy. Oh, absolutely. The world needs There's more. There's no other it. way. Right? Yeah. Okay, but just quickly before I sign it off, what's your first two, four? Like one, two, three, four, you rank the Turtles for you. Um. So one Donatello, yeah. then... Uh, Mikey, Leonardo, Raphael? That's the exact same as me. Really? I think, yeah, that's the exact same as me. And I know people are going to be like, you gotta say Raphael. It's not that I hate Raphael. He's a locker room cancer. He's a yeah. jerk. He's yeah. fucking, he I never, the team. never been into that kind of like overly masculine, like, no. oh, I've got such a hothead. He's like, an no, asshole. No, scientist over that guy yes. any day. He's an asshole. And yeah. like, and, and Michelangelo's like Donnie's sidekick. And that's yeah. why I like him so much. yeah, yeah. We could do it. I could. Yeah. We'll do this later. I just wanted to see what you thought. But cool. Donatello is the best. Turtles in Time is the best. Thank you guys uh, for for listening. I'll record an outro to this afterwards. But Christopher, thank you cool. for coming over and talking. Thank to you. Me. All right. And that'll do you guys for episode two of Remember the Game: Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Four: Turtles in Time. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, I know I probably kind of fanboyed on this one a little bit and just kept going on about how much I love the game. But I don't care. That's what this whole podcast is about for me. It's a passion project, but my love of old video games. I love video games. I love the Ninja Turtles, and I really love the Super Nintendo. So if you put all that shit together, and you've got one of like the greatest games ever made, in my opinion. All right, uh, and the fact that they haven't made a good Ninja Turtles game in that many years frustrates the hell out of me because it really shouldn't be that hard just let us control the four of them and just let us beat the shit out of foot soldiers and if you could make donatello the most powerful one in the game that would be really cool too that's it you guys i'm gonna leave thank you so much to christopher DeJurek for coming over and nerding out with me over teenage mutant ninja turtles i hope you guys enjoyed this trip down memory lane uh next week my buddy mark McHugh will be coming by and we are going to be talking uh, Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past from the Super Nintendo, which is another one of the greatest games of all time. So uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy that. And I've had some really good feedback on this podcast so far. So to all of you that have downloaded and listened and taken a minute to tell me how much you're enjoying it, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm really having a lot of fun with doing this. And uh, and we're going to keep this thing going as long as we can, okay? That's it, you guys. If you liked it, please leave me a good review and please subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Tell a friend. And, uh, and I will check in with you guys next week when Mark and I nerd out and remember A Legend of Zelda, all right? That's it for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4. Take it easy, you guys. Cowabunga. Thank <laughs> you.